On our next segment, let's bring you the views of some civil society activists who are calling on the Lagos State Government to declare a state of emergency in the water sector in Lagos. What are their reasons? Take a listen. It's been a long journey and um, almost a year now. You all remember that we were here just like this, gathered, um, launching the first report. Uh, and as customary with Kappa, what we intended at that point when we launched that report was for there to be um, success, at least progress, uh, given the numerous issues that we shed light on based on that report. And that was one of the reasons that we did not only launch that report, we also went further to share copies with the state, with um, relevant ministries, even the office of the governor himself. Um, that was what we did then, hoping that by showcasing the dire situation of, of uh, public water infrastructure in the state, it would also help to jolt us into reality. We all know the reality of um, the COVID-19 pandemic and the way it has also exposed us to what the issues really are when it comes to personal hygiene, washing your hands and so on in the face of lack of water. And that was what we did then. So the reason uh, primarily that we undertook this uh, subsequent activity or action was also to be able to evaluate just to see okay has there been progress since that time and what is the state of things but i kid you not when we went on this fact finding mission um it was actually disappointing i must say my approach is to look at water in nigeria as of right why am i saying that 60 years of independence it's enough time to say that as regards water, we can get our heads up. Lagos EG Water Works was about the first in the country, 1911 or so. The younger states, for them, water is no issue. It has collapsed. Nobody talks. So when we use Lagos and a few states as an example, Yes, water is a right. Why is it a right? The consequences of depending on borehole, we have downplayed it. Take the riverine areas or the sea areas. When you dig borehole in every compound, mind you, there are two boreholes there water borehole and sewage borehole. The same compound, what are you doing? You are destroying the, the earth surface and the depth, which means 50 years time, there will be serious earthquake. 50 years time. The inability of people who have been mandated by the constitution to operate in a particular way, to meet with the aspirations and to meet up with the welfare of the people are uh, all political issues. And it is for this purpose that they were elected by the people to do the work of the people. But the reality is that over time, maybe the people themselves, you know, have been able to act of, you know, uh, Maybe the docility have tended to give the impression to the people that they are conquerors and emperors rather than servants of the people. Because ultimately, political actors are supposed to be meant are meant to be servants of the people. The global financial institution want to put us in perpetual slavery yeah. through their agenda. The World Banks, the IFC, Bretton Woods institutions that came to introduce some of this to us and collapse our development. And then we groan it back to them again, naively, or sometimes because of the greed of our leaders to go ask them for handouts 
to solve a problem they originally created. So how did we end up in Bohu? Yeah, I mean, of course, all of us know that boreholes do have, I mean, it's a stress on the environment, on the ecology, but it's actually survival first. And there is no alternative to public water. And that's why for every statement we put out is that the government should fund the public water appropriately. And we're also seeing that funds that have been allocated should also give us the value we expected. And that's why we're asking that administrations like, I mean, uh, Ambody that said it allocated 1.9 billion to to fix one of the waterworks should should be asked to explain what happened to 1.9 billion. And I, I just want to drop this today that from doing this report, we now begin to move to another level. I mean, this is not just for you to know how far we're going to. We are going to subject these states and one more state to very close scrutiny in the water sector. And um, we are starting, by the grace of God, a yearly water production report that will start from two states. And don't ask me, you already know Lagos will be inclusive. What we plan to do is to do, we'll gather our own monthly reports from all these major waterworks so that at the end of the year, we can hold their budgets and say, oh God, how come 50 billion naira only produce 2 million gallons of water? And they need to do this. They just know that we are going to hold them accountable, seriously, in the water sector.